So I've heard it said, there are two hard things in computer science. Cache invalidation, naming things, and off by one errors. My name is Stephanie Weirich. I'm a professor in CIS, and I want to talk about naming things. Why? Naming is difficult. And I don't just say that because I work in a domain that's notorious for difficult names. We joke about it. We say, a, mon a monad is just a monoid in the category of endofunctors. What's the problem? So what is the problem with naming? Naming is hard because names define meaning. Names define structure and declare principles. When programming, we create reality just by typing. So by naming, we bring constructions into existence. For example, we start with a number, and by giving it the right name, it becomes a pointer. We give a number a different name, and suddenly it's code, instructions that our computers can run to do amazing things. So the meaning of a number depends on its name. And unless you have a very good idea of what that name is, you're bound to get confused. And the penalty for that confusion is buggy software. This is why languages matter. In programming languages, in functional programming languages, which is the area that I work in, they lead to good names and to good abstractions. Languages with strong static type systems, like OCaml and Haskell, help you keep your name straight and maintain invariance. But more important than that, these type systems can name all sorts of abstractions. Here, I mean not just language level abstractions, like variables and methods and objects, but I do mean these abstract mathematical structures, like monoids, functors, and monads. These structures may be esoteric, but once you start naming them, it's hard not to see them everywhere. And by naming them in your code, you can gain understanding. So it may be surprising that such abstract structures are relevant to, main, to mundane problems, such as writing tax software or calculating how to surround territory using black and white stones. But they are relevant, and I encourage you just to find out about these names and how you can use them. <laughs> 